Chairman Lepage, uh, Mr. Verbal, uh, Mr. Evermuda, Legislator Karen Ryu, Deputy Minister Guo, distinguished guests and colleagues from the Ministry of the Labor, good morning. It is a pleasure having this opportunity to share progress we have made on the amendment of the Company Act since about two years ago. It is an ongoing project that will make critical impacts on all companies in Taiwan, including social enterprises. Based on two principles of deregulation and increasing transparency, we hope that the new company aggravation can not only make companies' operation more flexible, but also facilitate the establishment and development of social enterprises. In December 2014, we launched Feed Taiwan, an online platform that is designed to bridge the government, the private sector, and civil society stakeholders using digital technology to deliberate regulations. This idea came from a proposal from the former minister with a portfolio, Jack Wen Tsai, in the Gulf Zero Hackathon. The very first issue tackled by the v Taiwan system was discussing the idea of closed limited liability companies, CLLCs, is similar to Delaware LLCs. You see, in the past, Company Act's chapter on companies was limited uh, for large companies, large enterprises, although most of companies in Taiwan are actually listed as small to medium enterprises. So in order to maintain operational flexibility, many SMEs and newly established businesses choose to work around the limitation of the law, or even moving abroad to places like the Cayman Islands. And this had an unfortunate consequence of increasing company operation costs, causing more legal disputes, eroding tax space, and hollowing out our domestic law. So in order to solve these problems and formalize the regulations of closed LLCs, we developed the Taiwan as a working platform with open government as its principle to unveil a series of discussions, both online and offline. It took three months and involved thousands of viewers on live stream, hundreds of suggestions, and about 20 face-to-face -face contributors. Online public consultation took place from February to May 2015, and then the consensus position was signed into the law by the parliament, which came into force on September 2015. To date, more than 300 companies have already registered as closed LLCs, proving the initial success of our methodologies. Following the implementation of the special section, we went on to deliberate many other public topics, including equity-based crowdfunding and regulation of electronic driver dispatch systems. However, for the company law itself, the CLLC special section is just a start. Uh, its status as an exception could lead to a misinterpretation of a strict by default lenient by exception, making it miss its legislative aim. And still, closed LLCs need to change into non-closed companies limited by shares to be publicly listed, so increasing the cost and uncertainty. Besides that, there are many places in the Company Act that we still have to deal with. This includes the simplification of company registration system, including the rigidity of the company's autonomy mechanisms, including the increasing the effectiveness and the accountability for company executives, and finally, company with diverse goals such as social missions. So, the next step is on the other parts of company aggravation, starting with foreign names in last week's deliberation, a consensus has already emerged on simplifying the registration system and put foreign names as part of public disclosure. So based on the principle of openness and transparency, we will keep working on law adjustments to meet the needs of small and medium enterprises and newly established businesses. The logic and purpose of the whole policy-making system is to accommodate the voice of SMEs that was often ignored or excluded. And moreover, by building more participation space to academic and part participants professionals, we would have a broader spectrum of discussion. And furthermore, I really appreciate in last week's deliberation that the director of the Department of Commerce from the MOEA, Lime, for voluntarily joined the online public consultation last week. So in the future, we will gradually strengthen and expand the direct communication process between the public sector and different stakeholders. Take, for example, the need for social enterprises. We understand that some stakeholders think the Company Act is good as it is on this regard, but we also understand some stakeholders think that we can amend the law to formally allow companies to consider social impact as important as financial returns to the shareholders. And so all these options on the spectrum can be considered and deliberated together. 
who are very much willing to conduct more opinion exchange and mutual learning and sharing with counterparts, both within Taiwan and around the world. So thank you for listening and hope we're going to have more opportunity to work together. I wish you a productive conference. Thank you.